think it's time for some pushback and it's time to let her rip. So here we go. I'm Mark Smelly Bell. I'm gonna give some pushback about the quarantine that we have going on. Did things have to go on the way that they did? Did we have to panic? Which I think most people would agree, we panicked. Even people that disagree with me about a lot of things would agree with me and say, yeah, I think we freaking panicked, right? I know people were really concerned. One of the big concerns was overwhelming the healthcare system. But we don't even know if we were gonna overwhelm the, overwhelm the healthcare system because we didn't even try to be creative with it. We just said, everybody stay home and wash your hands. Everybody stay home and wash your hands. That's all we did. Could we have been more creative with that situation? Could we called upon other people in the medical field to assist? There's a lot of doctor's offices around the country that could have helped. Dental offices. There's also a lot of a lot of other physicians that would have jumped in on that as well. In addition to that, you could have had other people from around the country assist in places that were more dense. On top of that, you could have called upon the CEO of Uber and said, hey, we need to ship a lot of these people the hell out of here because they can't get the care that they want and ship them a few miles down the road somewhere where there's not as many people. It's not as congested. What do I got to come up with everything around here? <laughs> Another thing is, is we could have been, whatever happened to creativity? Whatever happened to being inventive? A big thing that this country was based on. What about, you know, calling upon some of the best manufacturers in the country and seeing if they would help make shields and masks and gowns and so forth? What if, but no, everything's like government issued, right? So you can't have somebody do it that's not part of the program, right? These come from a specific place, a specific person to make sure everyone gets paid the right way. <laughs> what about this idea? What about putting together a league of mutants? Get together the best, smartest, well-educated, well, best uh, experienced, people that you can possibly find throw in some creative people like Elon Musk and Zuckerberg and whomever else you deem is a uh, smarty pants get those people huddled up and have them participate have them help have them communicate about what would be useful do you think if Elon Musk was asked to help bail out the country and be creative you think that he would just sit on his hands? He wouldn't. He would want to help. He'd want to participate because guys like that want to be legendary. They want to change, help change history. They want to help be the person that put. They want to help be the person that put COVID-19 to rest. I know a lot of other manufacturers, a lot of other people, would have been pumped about it as well. But no. <laughs> so that's been my whole take on the shutdown the entire time. I don't even think, I personally don't believe the quarantine is all that more effective than just some social distancing and just some washing of the hands. But that's my own opinion. You're entitled to yours as well. I love everybody. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I don't want anybody to die. But I know bullshit when I see it. No one has been bullshitted more than yours truly. <laughs> I feel like I've been bullshitted and told things don't work that way my whole life. I've been told I'm not smart enough. Or you, you don't understand. It's so much more complicated than that. It's not. It's not more complicated than all of us getting together and helping each other. And all of us getting together and having a God damn conversation about it anyway enough for me strength is never a weakness weakness never strength catch you all later